Welcome to my Godot 4 networking demo. Since Godot reached beta status, I played a lot more with the new nodes. In this video, I want to show you really quick a demo game I've written to show how to use some of these nodes. As you can see, I used Godot 4 beta 9. It's the latest release, I think. Okay. The main part of this video is the, uh, are the new network nodes, multiplayer synchronizer and multiplayer spawner. I have also built a small chunking system with a tile map and a fast noise, lies, fast noise light class to show, to uh, just to demonstrate the project. So in the main scene, I have added the multiplayer spawner node. This node takes care of spawning nodes automatically on clients. That means if a client connects to the server, the client will spawn the player scene and the map scene. Here I've added the player scene and the map scene. And these nodes and these lists will spawn on the client if they connect to the server. Well, in the player scene, I've added a multiplayer synchronizer node, which will synchronize defined properties, as you can see here at the bottom, across the network. In this case, it's the player's position, the motion velocity, and the jumping flag. So, you have to declare this in in your scripts, I use uh, usually uh, uh, C sharp, but in GD script it works also. So this is my script for the networking. There are my properties I want to synchronize, my getters and setters, and done. <coughs> the code for the player is the main part. In the physics process method, uh, I check if the node is the network authority, which means the active player on this instance, if it's a network game. And if it's not the network authority and it's not single player mode, then we have to update our position and jumping and uh, animation state according to the network uh, network data in the networking node. If it's the, the uh, authority, it's the, to the player node, then it's just as normal, a small script to handle movement, jumping, and so on, and animation. So at the end of this node uh, method, you have to uh, write the new position, the new, the new properties to the networking class to update on the other clients. And that's basically all you have to do to make a small, a very small uh, networking game. So I've also added uh, just for uh, the sake of uh, showing you this, a, uh, a simple uh, test input key T will spawn uh, a block at the right side of the player. And just like in Godot 3, I use RPC calls to synchronize the map change across the network. So if I run this project, I go to debug, run multiple instances and three instances for uh, for this demo. Okay, here we go. First I create a server. Player 1. Player 2. So, and you can see, it updates very well. Also, the map update. 
as intended. So, you can uh, get this project on my GitHub. The link is in the description. Feel free to use it as you like. Hope it helps somebody. Have fun with it. <laughs>